everyone. Some of you have been asking me what I put into the swag bags that I send home with my puppies when they're eight weeks old. So I'll give you a little bit of a rundown. Um, obviously puppy food is going to be the first thing that I put in the bag. I let my puppy families know in advance that they've been eating the organic puppy chow, but if they decide that they are going to change them over to a different brand, this gives the puppies something that their tummies are used to, so you can mix it a little bit at a time to get them transitioned over to the new puppy food. And then of course we have a pee pad. And I include a collar, which may still be a little bit large for the puppy at the time. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend using a collar and leash in a parking lot if you can avoid it because they won't really be used to it. It'll be something very new to them. Um, typically they do get to use the bathroom right before they come to meet their new family. So they should be set for a little while. And then of course, you've got to have a blankie with mom scent on it. And these are absolutely so soft. So having a blankie with mom scent really helps the puppies to settle in to a new home where there are new smells and everything is so new that this is something familiar for the puppy. It does also double as a towel for their baths. Um, it absorbs quite well, I find. And then of course, vet papers are a must. Um, depending on if the vet has this packet on hand at the time, I also try to pick one of these up, which basically just breaks down what to expect in the first year of having a puppy. And it gives you the breakdown of, you know, the first month all the way through, well, I guess even to 15 months. And they typically have some coupons included. And this is something that I just source from the local veterinary clinic. So along with this, obviously, record of puppy shots, date of birth, any other important vet information. And then I send a little letter home with each of the puppies, customized for who the puppy is that you're getting. Um, I do own Serenity Photography. So I usually give my puppy families a discount card if they ever decided that they wanted to use uh, my photography services. And then the little letter just is a breakdown of some of the essentials, so the food that they've been eating, any of the house training, tips on the first night. And then the final note, I try to make myself as available to my puppy families as possible. So I want them to know that I try to make myself available for any questions. Uh, usually when you pick your puppy up, you're gonna have a few questions, but then as soon as you leave, you're gonna be like, oh man, I forgot. When did they eat last? When did they pee last? So I try to go over all of that information as best as I can so that you have few questions, but this helps to kind of break everything down. And being a photographer, with each litter so far, I've done a fun little puppy sh photo shoot. So different backgrounds, some different uh, props with the puppies, and then I typically do send a photo home with each of the puppies. And you can order gallery wrap canvases or more prints if you'd like, but this is just kind of a, a fun little swag thing that I've done. And along with that, I also put together a calendar this past year. And with letters in the past, I've actually mailed out a calendar to their family in advance and put down the date of birth as well as you know, when your puppy is actually going to be able to come home. So it gives you a little bit of a countdown of uh, waiting for puppy to come home. It's a long wait. Two months from when the puppy is born to actually being able to bring them home. Seems like ages. I do usually throw in a toy of some kind. So, you know, balls are pretty classic choice. And... I have uh, recently started using the Monate Pet line for my mini schnauzers. And the thing that I love about this is the fact that it is naturally based, so it's healthy to use for your dog, and it smells amazing, and it makes them so silky and soft, and then their coat so shiny. So I'm considering going forward 
sending a little sample size pack so that you've got the uh, shampoo for the very first wash for your puppy when they get home. And then if you decide you like the brand, obviously you can pick up more. But anyway, that's kind of the rundown. I hope that helps. So let me know if there's anything that I'm forgetting. If I've put something in a pet swag bag before and I forgot to mention it, or if you think I should be adding it to their swag bag. Also, do not forget to subscribe because then you get to see all of the cute puppy videos that will be coming up sooner or later because we will be having puppies again in the near future. Thanks guys.